So I'm going to do about a 30% water change on the baby Corys and the baby Bettas. Um, I took the water out with a measuring cup a little at a time, so make sure I didn't catch any of the little guys that are in here. And now I am just drip, well, kind of dripping, and I'm putting it back in with just a quarter inch airline from this two gallon bucket up here. I got it clipped on the side, the bottom's all the way down, or the, the end's all the way down at the bottom. And it's just a slow fill this way, so as not to shock the little guys too much. Because they're growing, and I, I would hate to do anything to hurt these little fellas. Little fellas and gals. I'm hoping we got a good mix of both. We've got some really nice little, there's a little quarry right there. That's a lighter colored one. There may be three... Um, what are they? Uh, Trilineatus, the the uh, false Julies, um, and that that could be one of them. The lighter colored, all the, all the rest are darker and more speckled. And then, and here's one of the little bettas. Look at the colors starting to form on that already. There's another little better right there. They're really spectacular. They're just doing so well. There's another one right there. So I'm getting a fair amount of algae on the top. You can see it all the way in the back there under that leaf of that uh, Amazon frog bit. And there were some big wads across here. There's a bunch back there. And I'm not real concerned. I cleaned some of it out. Um, and I took out some of the dead hornwort leaves. I'm sorry, the Amazon frog bit leaves. Um, and I got a lot of mulm on the bottom of the tank. And the quarries are constantly sifting through that. So it's probably full of microorganisms. Lots of good natural food sources with all the plants and all the mom. And then I come through, I try once a day to feed them a baby brine shrimp. Uh, I've got a couple videos on how I made the do-it-yourself brine shrimp feeder. And then how I make the, you know, raise out the brine shrimp. Or, you know, the still babies, baby brine shrimp. Uh, I have yet to master how to uh, um, how to get them to an adult size. I'm working on that one of these days. But this is going well. This has been a good little tank. So I'm going to raise the water level. I get a lot of evaporation here, so I'll probably raise it to about where my just about another finger's width, another inch or so, uh, maybe another inch and a half. So I'm, I took out. Yeah, I don't know if I took out two gallons and uh, maybe just about a gallon and a half and then I'm putting two back and I'll probably put another gallon or two back on top of that. We'll see how it looks. And that way uh, I'm slowly raising the level here because the little quarries, are, they're still really small. They like to breach and I don't want them to have to work too hard to find the surface. Uh, and the little bettas obviously breach as well because they are a labyrinth breeder and they can breathe from the surface. So again, they'll find themselves all the way down in the mulm and then all the way back up. So they're still really small and I just don't want them to have to work real hard to do it. So we'll just let it go at that. So this is still running there. It's a good slow way to do this. It's, it's a little bit slower of an acclimation than just pouring a bunch of water in really fast. I think it's a little safer for the fish. It spreads out a little quicker. Let's see what the temperature is. It was 77. Uh, it's still 77. It's gonna take a bit for the that to react, but I'm guessing I won't lose too much temperature from the tap. So anyway, thanks for looking in. And everybody have a fantastic day.